I'm Corey Kukru for 1623 Studios, and this is a story of Magnolia's Lexington Avenue. A fishing and farming village once known as Kettle Cove, Magnolia, just a carriage ride from Boston, bloomed in the late 1800s as a coastal getaway for artists, writers, and statesmen. As rich and famous names found the village, grand hotels were built, turning Magnolia into a true summer resort by the dawn of the 20th century. In its heyday, Magnolia attracted Presidents Taft and Roosevelt, and General MacArthur, and celebrities from Louisa May Alcott to Lucille Ball. The heart of Magnolia was Lexington Avenue, its arcade facade on one side, an opulent colonnade mall on the other, boasting worldly shops that rivaled Saks Fifth Avenue. Tiffany's and FAO Schwartz were fixtures, as were lush tea gardens and boutiques of fine china, silver, and furs. It was known as Robber's Row, the site of countless capers, including a fearless $100,000 jewelry heist that remains unsolved. But the crown jewel of Magnolia was the massive Oceanside Hotel. Built in 1880, the Oceanside was a sprawling six stories tall, with sidekick cottages and bathing pavilion at nearby Crescent Beach. It was the largest wooden structure in the Northeast, and largest hotel east of the Mississippi, housing up to 3,000 guests a night. It had its own casino, library, and beauty shops, generated its own electricity, made its own ice, and burned six tons of coal a day. John Barrymore performed in the theater. John Philip Sousa and the Marine Corps Band played the ballroom. For a time, Magnolia was a star on the map. But the rise of the automobile and interstate highways, coupled with the Great Depression, led to a steep decline in tourism. After World War II, Magnolia got quiet. Then, on December 11, 1958, with the hotel closed for the season, a kitchen fire quietly spread undetected. The building became engulfed and raged through the night. By daybreak, the Oceanside and its properties were leveled. Hardly anything was salvaged. The majestic hotel and Magnolia's identity went up in smoke. Today, Magnolia is still a draw for the curious and creative. Incredibly, fires in 1991 and 2002 raised shops and condos where the Oceanside once stood. But time and time again, Magnolia rallies, rebuilds, and returns to Lexington Avenue.